okay. No, okay. no worries. Okay, this is a happy occasion. Uh, we lost Derek. That was a bad thing, but now we're gaining Lisa. And we welcome you here this morning, and we'd ask the uh, Judge Garst to swear you in so you can become part of our board, Lisa. Having been appointed, Having been appointed to the Office of County Board District 1. To the Office of County Board District 1. In and for the County of Baker. In and for the County of Baker. And State of Illinois. And State of Illinois. Do solemnly swear or affirm. Do solemnly swear or affirm. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And I will faithfully discharge the duties. And I will faithfully discharge the duties. Of the Office of County Board Member District 1. Of the Office of County Board Member District 1. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much, Judge. And Brenner's a judge or something this morning on the course. Oh, we've got they have a free golf tournament. He's got to help find the lost balls. I, I saw where his priorities oh, were. Oh, yeah. They've got to get golf balls. He knows where they are. There was one in my heat last year this morning for some reason. Did he throw it out there? Well, golf balls. Wow. That's a really long shot. Yeah, I well, it must have been practicing. I, I saw some guy at the mall with a, a Joe who had a golf club and said, Jesus, boy, that must have been a really terrible shot. <laughs> Would you all please rise and join me in the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Well, welcome, Lisa. Thank you. I hope you enjoy it. I hope I can remember uh, to not call you by your daughter's name very much. So, I was talking to her about that earlier today. I said, geez, I keep doing that. At any rate, Welcome everybody. I'd like to call the uh, September meeting of the County Board to order and ask the clerk if he would not call the roll. Chittick. Here. Ludington. Here. Patrick. Here. Bruner. Ellis. Here. Farnham. Yeah. <laughs> Boy. Here. All right. Moving to the agenda. Uh, we have the minutes from the August 12th regular meeting uh, that you have had for a day or two. 
Uh, is what's your pleasure as far as approving them? Do you have any corrections or additions to those minutes? Hearing none, I'd entertain a motion to adjourn. Uh, to adjourn. <laughs> to approve. Phil. Andy. Phil moves. Andy seconds. Any further discussion? All those signify uh, aye. Vote aye for yes. No. Nay. Boy, I'm going to start you over again. Yeah, I guess. We have a second and a. we'd like to vote on the minutes now. So all those in favor of approving the minutes as submitted signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. That was a redo. That was my That's good. Uh, whiff. That's good. Okay, claims against the county. Likewise, you've already, you've also had those. Any additions, corrections, or clarifications? Hearing none, I'd entertain a motion to approve those warrants. Phil and Andy again. Any further discussion? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. Uh, county board claims. You've had those for a few days. Any... Uh, That's what we just did. We just did that. Oh, I thought we did the claims against the county. We're doing That's the That's the one you butchered earlier. So we've already done both of them? Yes. No. We no. Haven't we? No. no. Oh, okay. All right. Sorry. Pardon me. Claims for county board members? Are there any uh, questions on those? If not, I'd entertain a motion to approve. Uh, John and Andy? Andy, you're just a slight bit slow, so you're coming in second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. Okay, we now come to the portion of the meeting where we ask for public comment. We ask that you identify yourself and restrict your uh, comments to five minutes. Are there any? Uh, are there any comments that from the public this morning? Hearing none, we'll move on to item eight, highway resolution, authorizing the engineer to purchase equipment with financing from Prospect Bank and sign any financing documents required. That would be for the dump truck. So we heard about that on on uh, Monday morning or Tuesday morning. So Carl moves, Phil seconds. Further discussion? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. Excuse me. Yes. Um, I don't have the paperwork, but it probably will be in the form of a resolution. So yes, I was going to have you call. Oh, that's right. Go ahead and call the roll, please. Okay. Kitty. Yes. Ludington. Yes. Patrick. Yes. Ellis. Yes. Farnham. Yes. Okay. It does carry. Next, uh, we're going to... Authorize the chairman to execute deeds of conveyance for the following six parcels. See the names there, and these people have purchased, for a number of reasons, these parcels. So do I have a motion on this resolution, please? Andy moves. Bill seconds. Uh, Lisa, we have tax sales, and then people buy the property back, sometimes to to live in sometimes for investments, but this is what this is, okay? And you notice the folks that they're going to uh, favor the deed with. So all those in favor, oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> go ahead and call the roll. Chick. Yes. Ludington. Yes. Patrick. Yes. Ellis. Yes. Farnham. Yes. It is approved. Next, Jill, would you... Uh, Talk to us about the request to seek proposals for creating and updating our hazard, hazardous mitigation plan. Okay, um, the first time we've done this for the county, it was before I was here. Um, I guess it was done in 2013. So I, every five years, we're eligible to redo this grant and get um, money for funds, um, like I said, for the county. It can be for man-made or natural um, disasters. So basically what this is, we put this, we met, um, Jeff and I met with one company um, or firm out of Springfield who would basically handle all this stuff for us. Um, let's see. They would basically, the grant, um, it's opened September 30th um, to mid-December of 2020. 
Um, it's a 75-25 grant, however, um, the 25% match would be made up by in-kind services such as meetings, um, traveling to meetings and that kind of stuff, so it'd be zero cost to the county. Um, what they say, we would basically put this bid out for 30 days to see if any other company would want to be interested and then the county would go from there and make their decision. Um, we usually we ran it in the Prairie Press and put it on the website. Um, I'm trying to think, he told, told me, beginning June 20, um, 2021 was when we'd find out if we were eligible for the grant or if we got the grant and then we would not, um, it would be fall of 2021 before we would even end up um, updating our plan. Questions? Yeah. Are, are you envisioning any big changes or actions or more just kind of tweaking, tweaking. the plan that yes. we have in existence? Yes. I do have a copy of it. I wasn't going to put it in there because it's huge and there's also other stuff I left out of it. But um, anybody wants to see it, they're more than welcome to look at the old one. It was done by um, Southern Illinois University last year, or last time in 2013 was when it was completed. I guess it started a year or two previous prior to then. Um, but yeah, no, I don't see anything major, you know, major changes. We do work with the highway department a lot. They give us updated flood stuff, um, that kind of thing. But so it's basically kind of just redoing this one with the same information and of course a bunch of different contacts and that type of stuff. And the community is um, involved too. Um, from what I've seen from last time, we've had people from the townships, fire, um, different realms, you know, of the county helping with it, so schools and that kind of stuff. Did they give you approximate cost on um, No, there's no cost to the county. Know, they get all their stuff through the, the grant. No, they do. They did not. Right. I don't believe they. Do you remember? No, they just. It was 75 25, and then, like I said, our right. in kind services. The work and, that you do. Yes. Basically. So. They did not tell us how much they would be making off or whatever, but like I said, we just had, we met with one company, um, so the next step is just to, I guess, put this out there to see if anybody else. The last time Southern Illinois did it for us. Okay. So, further questions, please? But I did point out that in order to be eligible for funds, and I guess you've said that in a way, we need to have this done. Yes. Right? Entertain like a motion. Said, this is not deciding anything. This is just basically putting this out to open up for bids. Motion. Carl moves. Andy seconds. We do not need a roll call vote. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, aye. nay. Okay, next we have, uh, we need to authorize county clerk to relocate a polling pla place from First National, or First United Methodist Church to Paris Township Building beginning this election November 3rd. Augie? Well, Do you want to say anything additional? Yeah, no, well, nothing additional. Uh, but there are some people here who aren't aware of what's going on. Yeah. So, sure. Go ahead. Um, Go ahead. I was uh, in planning for the upcoming election. Uh, I contacted all the polling places to see if they would still be available for us to use. And the First United Methodist Church here in Paris uh, basically told us that they, uh, they could not guarantee that they would be available on November the 3rd. And uh, being as how I don't think uh, the virus is going to be gone by then, uh, they, they suggested that we look somewhere else. And uh, so... Uh, we're going to relocate, we'd like to relocate the polling place out of the church to the Paris Township building. And I, uh, I visited the building, it is handicap accessible, uh, it appears that there's enough room so that we can social distance in there, and um, I'm looking forward to uh, using that location. Any questions? So. It was it purely COVID related on the, the church's part, their concerns? Yeah, that's what they said. It, okay. it, in fact, last week when when we finished up talking, yeah. they said that if the election were held today, we could not come into the building. Mm -hmm. 
So I didn't question that. No, so, and, and I don't blame them. And it's all due to COVID. So. Yeah, and I don't blame them at all no. for, for that. I'm just, as somebody that's in that district, it's a very nice facility. And at some place, sometime down the road, we could go back there. It'd be nice for everybody. But Well, here, here's the thing that people don't realize that it costs $2,000 to move that out of the school to the church and now it's going to cost another couple thousand dollars because I've got letters and new voter ID cards. Uh, okay. It's just, they're just doing the whole thing over again. Mm -hmm. And then hopefully it's going to work out from my standpoint at the township building. And I know, I know that parking is better at the church, but there, there's parking around the building and across the street. Uh, in yeah, the public line. That's not a bad place. Yeah. So that's a permit move then. Well, yes, I would. I, okay. I would it could be that. Okay. Yeah, and if we might as well make it that way, and if right. we ever, if the people decide they want to go back to the church, and you know, I, there's a lot that goes into that, then I guess we can cross that bridge when we get to it. Yeah, and the flip side, at least for Paris A. You know, man, that polling place has moved so often in the last 20 years. It would be really nice for everybody to get back to a consistent place right. where everybody remembers where it is. Further discussion? Motion on the resolution, please. Andy moves, John seconds. Mr. Clerk? Jenny. Yes. Ludington. Yes. Patrick. Yes. Ellis. Yes. Farnham. Yes. I have a question. I know last fall, was it the KC Hall you had to move to the courthouse? It was this spring. This spring. Yes. What was the reason why at the last minute you had to change? Well, at the last minute, um, most of my election judges. Okay, that was the problem. Yeah, they just backed out. Uh, it was due to COVID and I had two brand new judges that were going to, that was going to be their first time and there was no way I could okay. allow that. So hopefully that, that won't happen again. Hopefully. I don't think it will. So. Okay. And you did say that you were fairly, being fairly consistent on your judges that that wasn't, didn't look like at this point that that was going to be a problem. Correct. Most of my judges, uh, not all of them, but most of them have, have indicated they would be available. And the ones that didn't, would, couldn't, uh, or wouldn't be available, uh, they're giving me a, a substitute name. So, But I'm always looking for uh, additional election judges. So if anybody knows of anyone, why have to give me a call. Okay. Uh, next is kind of a dotting the I, crossing the T kind of thing. We need to approve the new uh, renewal of the health insurance with Blue Cross Blue Shield that begins September 1st, 20 through, I'm sorry, October 1st, 20 through September 30th, 21. We've already pretty much signed up, but we wanted to make sure we, we took this took this step to make sure that everything was written down. I just want to ask a quick question. I apologize. I missed the last study session. You probably discussed it, but I assume you guys, the unions are okay with the same plans that we had before and there's... Yes. Okay. Yes. We're going to go into executive session uh, just to cover a couple things, updates since yesterday on union negotiations. Okay. So. Uh, I just but the when simple, I was, I'm sorry. The simple answer is yes. Yeah. Okay. I just knew the last time I was in on the discussion that was an, an I we had to dot still. I was checking we got it. Okay. Uh, can I have a motion to approve Blue Cross Blue Shield for our medical insurance for employees? Andy moves. Phil seconds. We need a roll call on that would be the chairman's choice. Let's do a roll Let's call just to make sure. All right. Chitty? Yes. Ludington? Yes. Patrick? Yes. 
Ellis. Yes. And Farnham. Yes. Well, next item is action on the President's executive order allowing deferral of payroll taxes for the rest of 20. Uh, in talking to, we talked about this yesterday morning, but in talking to our accountants and getting their opinion on, on the law and any confusion, they're recommending that we do not enter into the deferral system, that uh, if if the uh, deferral actually becomes a permanent situation, then all the employees would be eligible for that later on. If it doesn't, then it wouldn't put a hardship on them in, on payroll after the first of the year. So I'm asking the board to move, uh, make a motion to not participate in the <coughs> deferral program. Are there any questions on that? John, I know you weren't here yesterday, but does that make sense? Did I explain yeah. that okay? Okay. Is there a motion to uh, to uh, decline to uh, participate in the deferral of payroll taxes? Andy okay. moves. I'll second. Bill seconds. Any further discussion? All those in Go ahead and call the roll. Kitty. Yes. Luddington. Yes. Patrick. Yes. Ellis. Yes. Farnham. Yes. Okay. We've got a couple of department heads here. <coughs> Jill, I'm sure you, do you have anything that you wish to add to what you're already uh, doing? No, we just finally got all this stuff situated for um, that PA grant, the public assistance grant. So basically that's any COVID expenses, any hours worked over, um, cleaning the courthouse, things like that can uh, be reimbursed on that. So I finally got... <coughs> The county registered, I guess I should say, to submit an application and all that stuff. Um, the health department, I believe, is doing one as well um, on their own for their own expenses. Um, the talking we had, I had a guy come from the state, I don't know, not last week, the week before, so I kind of went over everything. Um, it's possible, even um, too, I need to get with um, Derek from the sheriffs that we can even use the salary of the security guards and things like that. We can get re reimbursed for that. Um, I'm trying to think there's some other stuff. Anything we've done to the courthouse, like putting plexiglass up and things like that, um, anything that we've done to prevent COVID is basically eligible on the screen if we have. We ought to talk to Don and Dina about some of the stuff they've and done our, in there. Yes, and the sheriff. And so anything other than the health department, I believe, would fall under me. Starting that, and then other than that, working on the hazard mitigation stuff, and then um, PPE. We've been getting some still, but not really much left from the state, so we've been trying to purchase some of it on our own. Um, seeing as it's going back up in Illinois, the state may, you know, be giving us more um, here soon, but I haven't heard anything yet. The Derek is in the process and should have it done later today of identifying all of the court security mm. hours and dollars okay. okay so we need it for several reasons so that should be available to you also okay any questions of jill so you're saying that the state doesn't have ppe equipment? well like they're get, they're getting um masks and things like that and we used to like i request we got um, what they call a 30-day burn rate supply of stuff so we got that maybe like three weeks or a month ago but I could put requested, but if they don't have stuff, I guess, to fill it. I mean, they're filling it, but, like, we are getting, like, little shipments here or there. I mean, 500 surgical masks doesn't do much for anything when you're going like, a one-use thing, you know, and gloves and stuff like that. So we've been, um, we, we got that donation. It's, like, from Quantix or something. I don't remember, but it's, like, $7,500. So we've been using that to buy some masks and things like that. And then... As soon as the state gets it in, usually I've been getting it um, yeah. in little increments. So when you get stuff, do you take it like to the nursing home? Well, we were doing it to the, that 30 day burn rate was going to some of the nursing homes. We are splitting it up because we got gowns and things and mm -hmm. I split it between them. But then um, the rest of the stuff basically goes to first responders and county employees. Like I've been giving them, giving them to the judges and stuff mm -hmm. for court. Um, Scott Bears needed them for, right. you know, things like mm -hmm. that. So. It's basically just went through the county. I've 
the health department was required to give them to some of the schools, like the nurses and stuff, school nurses. So it just depends, but yeah, it was supposed to basically be, the hospital was supposed to be able to get their stuff, and same with the nursing home, when before, you know, it's hard to get. So no. Is there anybody that's going without, that you're aware of? Not that I'm aware of. Yeah. Like I said, I was telling Jeff earlier this morning, I had Chris call me. Um, ambulance and fire, and I'm going to work with them to try to get them some stuff, but I don't have everything that they need, so yeah. I don't know what to do with that, but we'll give them what we can. And a lot of the stuff is back ordered, as yes, I understand. And, like Jeremy Neal was needing N95s, and we have a limited supply of them, but we, you know, we're working with him, and he said his is back ordered until first of the year, or does that sound right? Yeah. So I don't know what I can do to help him, and but I've been putting requests into the state, so we'll see. I, I just thought that everybody, there was a plentiful supply that everybody mm -hmm. was getting. No. I didn't realize that. Yeah. Hmm. Anything else, folks? Sam, Adam? I don't have anything different than yesterday. Our report writer system is still down. As soon as I can get some numbers, I'll send you guys September stuff, but I don't have anything out of the ordinary than what Adam discussed yesterday, unless you guys do. Yeah, we kept poor Adam. He was sitting off my shoulder and I didn't see him. He had to sit yeah. through the whole meeting. Yeah, beautiful. Thank you, though, for being there. and Thanks for being here today. We appreciate it. Um, did I? Oh, Augie. Um, I just want to piggyback on to what Jill was saying, that the uh, State Board of Elections has secured a significant amount of sanitizer and face masks and my shipment should be coming to her door any day now and uh, so my election judges um, volunteers we should have plenty of masks and sanitizer uh, also have them available at each of the uh, polling places um, so that they can put a mask on to come in to vote if they got their own. Um, while I, I can't force somebody uh, to wear a mask into the polling place, I will strongly encourage that they do wear one. And, uh, so if I have extra when we're all said and done, then my, my supplies will be available to help out. Um, yesterday we had approximately 1,100 vote by mail applications and uh, in comparison to the March primary we had 100 so we're busy inputting those into the system and we're going to get real busy uh, once the ballots go out uh, September 24th 25th in that time frame and uh, early voting starts on the 24th. So, real soon, real busy. The mail-in ballots, uh, what's the deadline for them to be come back in the day of the election? Yes, they need to be postmarked by on the day of election. Okay. And then we have 14 days for the mail to deliver those to us. Okay. It's okay. Here. If I cut all of our apartment heads that are here, okay. Uh, next, committee reports. Do you have anything, Andy? Not this week. Phil? Nope. John? Nothing. Lisa? No. Okay. Okay. Do you have anything, Carl? Uh, tomorrow we have a sheriff's committee meeting and we're going to discuss budget and Union negotiations with the sheriff. Okay. Um, I do have a. Is there any questions of any amongst yourselves? Okay. I've got uh, Don's report here. If uh, can anybody read the very last line on the page? <laughs> Board members. Yeah, yeah, I can. Okay, well, is there a problem? No, just wanted, Don wanted me to ask if you could read that. So that'd be kind of heavy long here, unshaven, allergic to soap. If you could read this, there's a piece of candy he sent. 
up here because it's a reward. So, uh, well, that's the one you're talking about. So, the one that you can't know see. Those words. <laughs> I didn't know what this crap was going to do now. Actually, this is a pretty serious moment, isn't it? <laughs> okay. You should see him. Just go over there and take a look afterwards. I, I will. I got nothing better to do. <clears throat> anyway, you'll note that uh, note the different line items on here. These are outside of the, uh, you see the fund 100 at the top and then the various other line items that uh, make up our budget. And of course the levy funds are about two-thirds or three-quarters of the way down the page. IMRF, FICA, TORT, Capital, and Courthouse is all on there. So uh, he's left some notes there. And we're working on the budget. Hopefully as soon as we, he, uh, he and Pam are over there, he's learning more about the payroll system right now. Pam had some surgery and she's not able to actually work very much so he's over there with her leaning over his shoulder making sure he's got everything right so he's in a good mood um, so at any rate once he gets the budget uh, entered we'll start uh, putting getting that out to you as soon as we can we went over the uh, income and administrative expenses yesterday uh, John so I've got those here for you so you can take a look and kind of get caught up. The big item that we need to address is what we're going to address tomorrow morning, and that's the sheriff's budget. Uh, so we'll go from there. Are there any questions? Okay, could I have a motion to go into closed session for negotiations? I don't think we need to for personnel, but for negotiations. Phil, and then Andy, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. We'll take a couple minutes and then we'll go into closed session. And we will not. The 300, okay. We're back in closed session. Do we have anything else to come before the meeting this morning? We're back in open session. Open session. Thank you. Uh, motion to adjourn. Andy, Phil, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. Um, we're adjourned. We're adjourned.